Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f divided by g, and to state their domains. So, starting with f plus g, f of x plus g of x. With all of these, all you have to do is plug in what they're equal to. So we have x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x squared minus 1. Adding like terms, 2 plus 3 means this is plus 5x squared. Everything else stays the same. So we have x cubed plus 5x squared minus 1. Next, we have f of x minus g of x. So this is f of x, x cubed plus 2x squared minus g of x, 3x squared minus 1. And make sure it's in parentheses because we're subtracting the whole thing. So this is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x squared is minus 1x squared, minus negative 1 is plus 1. So x cubed minus x squared plus 1. fg, so f of x times g of x. f of x is x cubed plus 2x squared times g of x, 3x squared minus 1. Doing this distribution, 3x squared times x cubed equals 3x to the fifth minus 1x cubed, plus 2 times 3, 6, x to the fourth, minus 1, 2x squared. So 3x to the fifth minus x cubed plus 6x to the fourth minus 2x squared is f times g. And d, f divided by g, equals x cubed plus 2x squared over 3x squared minus 1. And there doesn't seem to be an easy way to simplify this, right? There's nothing to divide out, so we're just going to leave it like this. Now, to state their domains, A, B, and C all have no restrictions on their domains, so it's all real numbers. You can write this as negative infinity to infinity, or the symbol for all real numbers. Either way, that works. Here we do have a restriction. The denominator cannot be equal to 0. Those 3x squared minus 1 cannot be equal to 0 plus 1 on both sides, 3x squared cannot be equal to 1, x squared cannot be to 1 third. Therefore, taking the square root of both sides, x cannot be um, plus or minus, right, since we don't know whether x is positive or negative. The square root of 1 third, x cannot be plus or minus. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of root 3 cannot be simplified. And then if we multiply both sides by the square root of 3, we get that we have the square root of 3 over the square root of 3 squared is just 3. And make sure it's still plus or minus. So x cannot be equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 over 3. So we can just write that as the domain. You can also do it in interval form, but I think just writing it as what it cannot be is a little bit easier. Plus or minus the square root of 3 over 3. So here we have A, B, C, and D.